Hello everybody, welcome back to another awesome Illustrator CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create arcs, and we're going to learn how to create spirals. The arc and spiral tools make it easy to create unique and interesting shapes, and um, you can manipulate these to create different um, shapes basic, uh, based upon what you need to and you can use other tools to help manipulate these as well and I'll show you that. So an arc um, which is over here where the line segment tool will be there's the arc tool and you can see there's a spiral tool so let's click on the arc tool and an arc consists of an x and a y axis length so on the x axis and on the y axis so x is left to right and y is up and down and the uh, the arc can be either opened or closed, and it has a slope, and all this stuff I'll go over. And most of them are in the options, are in the tool options. So first off, let's just draw a free-handed arc. So you're going to click, and this is going to be your starting point. And then you're going to move your line, and you can see that the second point is where your mouse is on the second part. And you can go up or down or whatever. So that's how the arc works. Now you can't manipulate it uh, with the tool right now, but we can fix it up later on if we want to move uh, the points around. So just go ahead and click. And if you if you're clicking and you hold down Shift, it's going to create a proportional arc here. And you can see that it's snapping around. To whatever I'm, I'm uh, moving it around to. All right. Now, if we click, just like with all, all the other shape kind of tools, if we click, we get our arc segment tool options. We can adjust the length on the x-axis and then our length on the y-axis. And when they're the same, that's going to be proportional. And if I want them to be disproportionate, then I'll just alter one of these axes. So we'll just go with 100 for each of these. And then we've got open or closed. Now these lines here are open, so let's go ahead with a closed so we can see what it looks like. And our base along, now I'll go through both of these so you can see what they mean so um, they won't be, won't be too bad. And then we've got our slope. Do we want a convex slope or do we want a concave slope? So let's start out with convex. And we'll go around 50. And we'll hit OK. And now you can see that our arc has been closed off by the lines here. And we've got like something that is resembling a slice of a pie or a pie chart. So let's go ahead and make something else. And let's do base along y axis. And we'll hit OK so you can see the difference. So the only thing we changed this time was base along y-axis. And you can see how it's been uh, flipped. And now the base is along the y-axis. Now let's go ahead and do another one. Over here. We'll go back to the x-axis. And we're going to change the slope to concave. And we'll go negative 50. And you can see the difference. Hit OK. And you can see now that the arc is actual, actually inside, which is concave, instead of going out. So that's the difference there. And you can see how you can make cool different things. Like this could be like a little hang glider that you're trying to make. Let's go ahead and check out one more thing I wanted to show you. So I'm going to select a fill color up here so we can fill our object. And if we click on fill arc, Let's go ahead and make this uh, concave again so we get more fill area. And hit OK. You can see now that the inside has been filled up. And that means you had to se select a fill color from this button here. The right, right next to it is the stroke. And that's how you add some color into there. Well, it's one way that you can add color. All right. So the next thing let's work on is spirals. The spirals are right in the same section as the arc tool. We'll go to the spiral tool. And you can go ahead and click and drag and create yourself a spiral. That's cool. 
And if you hold shift and click and drag, you'll get like a proportionate spiral. As you can see, it snaps around to where you want it to be. All right, the cool part is when we start clicking on the spiral and or when we click and then we can start editing the spiral. So let's go ahead and click. And we've got a radius, we've got a decay, we've got segments and style. Now the radius is going to be how wide it is from the center. The decay is how much of how how long it goes until it doesn't really become a spiral anymore or um, the amount pretty much, uh, well, the actual definition is the amount each wind decreases. Um, and then our segments are how many points are in there. So if you look at this one over here on the right, you can see all the different points that are in it. And there's 10 points all together. So we'll go ahead and mess with these. So I'm just going to hit OK for now. And this is what the default spiral looks like. We'll go ahead and then... This time we're going to decrease the decay and we'll make it 50. And I'll hit OK. And now you can see what's going on here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven points in there now. Let's go to the next thing. We'll put our decay back up to 80. And we'll this time we'll decrease the segments to something like five and hit OK. And you can see there's less of a spiral going on. So that's what happens when you decrease the segments. Now, I'll go ahead and decrease the decay and the segments. And uh, this is what we get. Since there was not much different, since there was only five segments or seven segments in here while we did this one, that's how much there is going to be in when we made this one. So there's not going to be much of a difference. There is a little bit. You get a little extra curving going on here. But if you increase the if you decrease the decay too much, you're gonna start losing points, and that was one of the points I wanted to bring up. And now we just got which way you want the spiral to go. If I just click this, you can see that our spiral is now upside down instead of uh, what we had before. So now you can see if you start combining these spirals, maybe you can make some cool looking objects. Um. Here we go, and you can just start messing around with things and making making some cool looking ornate objects with spirals. And uh, that's pretty much all I guess I wanted to show you about the spirals. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything uh, more that I wanted to go over. And if you wanted to learn about more about the options up here, um, be sure to check out the line segment tutorial where I go over that over these a little bit more they're not hard to figure out you can probably figure them out on your own but go ahead if you need to check them out so thanks a lot for watching the tutorial um, hit the like button if you like the videos and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more uh, video tutorials about programming or creative software such as illustrator or after effects or anything like that so good luck um, on your future projects that you're going to be working on in Illustrator and have a good one.